All right, the tip is go faster, go faster, go faster. Now, you need to maintain quality, so the only way you can go faster without sacrificing quality is increasing your efficiency. So, first thing, if you're running a milling machine, get a three-handled, um, I don't know what you call this, clamp arm or whatever, three-handled wrench. Um, why? Okay, so when I pull this thing out, I give it a flick. Guess what? There's two of these that are close no matter what. There's not one down here. It's balanced. So when I put this part in here, I slide it over, I get it a spin. Check that out. It's right where I need it. Even if it weren't, it would be within a very short motion. I can grab with two hands. I can crank it down. Also, put a stop on the top and the bottom, right? Additional travel in your hand is time, right? You've got to find the small things that reduce time. One thing I'm not going to reduce is the how fast I actually cut the metal. I'm gonna save all my time in loading and unloading, clamping, unclamping, how far I'm air stroking. That's how you save your time. You stack your parts on this side, you put your finished parts on that side. So you need to do be efficient. Also, never do one part at a time. If you're gonna make it, you need to make at least 30 of whatever it is you're making, okay? You've got to get the efficiency at its absolute best. That's how you make money in a small business.